Hi. Sheila the cat catwoman here. Sorry I haven't been online for a while. Uh, I never told you this before. But I do suffer from depression. Um, I've come to uh, spend a bit of time on my own again. Don't worry, I do function in the mornings. I say to my grandson, who's autistic, and my husband too, who has kind of special needs too. Um, but they are all functioning okay. I've got some disabilities, you can't see. Uh, all my animals are fine. They're all kept inside today because it's terrible thunderstorms and rain. Uh, it's May and we should be having nice weather. Um, yeah, so sometimes I function and I come to my room or our bedroom. I felt good because I was wallpapering. Uh, yeah, so um, the house is a bit neglected. Uh, I was starting to get the house ready for my brother coming. Don't worry, I will get it done. He's coming in June. Uh, that's one of the kittens crying. <laughs> that's Ruby. I'll let her in and let you see. Uh, I have thought about kind of ending it all. But I have my conscience about who's going to look after me loved ones and the animals. So... I kind of crept myself that way. There is Ruby. Where are you? <laughs> yeah. No scratching. Good girl. <laughs> She's kept me awake since about 20 to 6 this morning. Uh, Ruby is like her daddy. <laughs> Main cool. Although she's half Maine Coon. Uh, hello, Ruby. Are you coming to me? Come on. Ruby. <laughs> no. She's seven months old now. Yeah, you are. You're seven months old. And you cry like your daddy. Yeah, you cry. Ah, ah, ah. No. No, 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 no. <laughs> Little scoundrel, no, you're not getting me headphones because my gorgeous grandson, he gave them to me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hey. Yeah, so uh, you've probably seen a lot of the videos in the bedroom. Uh, sometimes I'm all right. I have me happy days and I have me not so happy days. Um, I don't know why I suffer from depression. There's no particular reason. Maybe it's because I lost my mummy in 2013. Then I lost my stepdaughter who I brought up on my own. Uh, she passed away 2014 and then there was uh, my auntie and uh, my dad's last sister, last sibling. She passed away in 2015 and then my daddy 2020. So it's just like I've lost all my family apart from my brother. And my nieces and nephew and their kids. 
So that's about it. That's all I have left. I got good in loss. Uh, but I don't know. Sometimes I feel like I'm taking one step forward and ten back. Uh, maybe the weather's got to do with it, frustration, lack of money, but I'm not the only one. That is um, lack of, you know, short of finances. Uh, yeah, so that's it, really. Uh, the other cats, they have their catio in one of the bedrooms and two of my other cats are in the kitchen and there's three elderly cats that's Tibby, Tux and Pops they're in the sitting room so they each have their own place that they go uh, one by one they come into the sitting room but I have to wait until the elderly cats are swapped over into a different room because Subia, uh, this little one's daddy, uh, he can be aggressive. He's all right with his brood that he's with, but once he gets down to the older cats, he likes to have a go with them, so he has to be on a one to one only. And he's a little darling. He is a little darling, but he has his behavioural issues. Shagar, uh, well, he's a sprayer. So he can't come into bedrooms or, say, the sitting room because he destroy everything. He even just sprays against me kitchen cabinets. And I go around with a spray and a mop. And antibacterial wipes everything he keeps you on your toes and then his granddaughter Heidi she would do the same even though that's just a girl she still sprays uh, but we know all their traits and we try to nip it in the bud, bud as soon as we can so, anyway, I just thought I'd let you know. Um, I have my faith, so that keeps me going. So I do have, like, a conscience if I was to, you know, even though I have them dark thoughts, I just couldn't. It's against my religion and also leaving people behind but sometimes I just need a break I just need a break like last year I was supposed to go to uh, Spain to Fort Ventura with my husband and my grandson for our first wedding well for our first holiday since our, after my dad died because I gave up everything to look after him don't worry, it's just, it's just uh, Ruby is like pushing me. Um, so, yeah, I got to the airport. My grandson, who's autistic, decided he didn't want to go. So we had to leave the airport and come home. So that kind of like, you know, upset me. And, you know, we have to be careful when we go away. That can only be short breaks because otherwise he'd miss his scare us. So it's tough, tough going. So that's it really. Uh, I love you and leave you and I hope sometime when I feel better I will send another video. Okay, bye for now. Bye.